All right, what is going on my fitness fam? Coach Jay in the house, my house, back for another Technique Tuesday. Uh, today, I think I'm gonna, I think last week we went over squats or something like that. So now uh, I wanna go over the duck walk. So the duck walk, uh, time under tension. You're gonna feel those glutes burn. We're gonna burn the quads, but mainly I wanna get more, uh, we're looking for more depth. And I understand everyone's mobility is different. Everyone's flexibility is different. So if you're having difficulty with the duck walk, it could be your ankle mobility or hip mobility. So we need to definitely stretch and work those, uh, those joints out uh, and stretch out those muscles. So for the duck walk, um, I think it might be part of the Romans workout, depending which Romans workout you are doing. Uh, and then we've always got that usually during the week, whether for Hollywood or not. So here's the duck walk and what I'm looking for when you guys do the duck walk. So. It's crazy how ducks have really tiny legs because uh, these burn. All right, so what it looks like is this. So when you get down, so you want your feet a little bit more than shoulder width apart. You want to get that bum down nice and low. So you want to push the knees out, opening up the hips to allow that bum to go nice and low. You're going to have the elbows between the knees. If you have a dumbbell um, or a, add a little resistance, you can have dumbbells here or one dumbbell. All right, so from the side view, what it's gonna look like is this. So from what I see, a lot of people are either tight in the hips or really tight in the ankles and they're doing their duck walks like this, all right? If you can take big steps like this, you're not going low enough and then you're probably putting a lot of pressure on your lower back, all right? So what I want is tiny, tiny steps forward, tiny, tiny steps back. And in order for you to do that or restrict your steps, then we really need to get that uh, bum down and drop those hips. So you're gonna squat down nice and low, push the knees out, allowing the bum to go nice and low. And then if you get this low, you're, 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 you won't be able to take big steps. So you're just taking like nice little tiny steps forward and then tiny steps back, all right? So if you wanna practice and just work on that mobility, I kinda like to grab my toes, my ankles, and then I kinda just drop. All right, and then I wanna push the knees out and open up the hips, all right? And just hold it from there. So similar to when we do the frog squats, we wanna get that bum down, really open up the hips, tiny steps forward, tiny steps back. Again, if you are, I see a lot of people do their frog uh, duck walks like this, and they're taking like really big steps. That means that's a lot of pressure on the lower back and you're not getting low enough. So we're not recruiting the glutes, we're not recruiting the quads, we're not working on mobility and flexibility by opening up the hips, uh, strengthening the ankles as well, all right? So we can do a few ankle stretches. I think I've showed you with a dumbbell, just really opening up the ankles. So here, stretching out the calves, okay? And then if you want, if you've got a nice little TRX, if you've got a light bar at home, uh, something stable, I have my feet more than shoulder width apart. And then I point my toes out slightly. And then I'm literally going to squat down, nice and low, pushing those hips forward, sitting up nice and tall, all right? So you wanna sit up nice and tall, and then you can even rock back and forth to work on that ankle stability as well, and mobility. Forward and back, and just opening up those hips, all right? That's gonna help with that duck squat, with the uh, frog squats, uh, sorry, the duck walk, the frog squats, even just your regular squats to really open up the hips and work on that ankle stability. So hopefully that helps. Try that. Let me know how that goes.